Hello, my name is Jesse Meekum from YNAB. It stands for Unit of Budget. You do. I do. We all do. A lady I was speaking to earlier this morning, she does. What happens? I meet people and they find out what I do. And I tell them I run a software company. It's called YNAB. It stands for Union to Budget. Ha ha ha. And then I tell them, you do, right? And I say it smiling, like, you do. No, I'm like, you do. Everybody does, right? Uh, and then what usually happens is they start to treat me like a priest. And this is a confession. And I'm supposed to, like, bless you, child you know, carry on type of thing. So I try and avoid that, but sometimes it's unavoidable because you're in a situation where they just kind of keep coming at you. What was interesting about this particular conversation, what I want to talk about for the next two minutes, is the idea, and this happens all over the place, people are living paycheck to paycheck and they probably have debt because if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you will eventually acquire debt. Nobody is so lucky as to ha have the paycheck land just before it's needed and never uh, get nailed with unexpected things that you'll expect over here. But everyone, you know, people living paycheck to paycheck, then they're like, I know things aren't going well. I'm pretty stressed. Uh, this person was sitting here and, and uh, she said, I actually do really well with money. I said, oh, awesome. Cool. That's great. And she says, I don't have any debt except my house. And that is great. Phenomenal, right? So she's doing really well. And then this is what happens. So she says, uh, I use, you know, we use a credit card, but we pay it off every month. Cool. So do I. Yeah. There's a difference though. And we, we talked about that with the float, right? We talked about the idea where if you've spent money, uh, put it on your card, and then you earn the money after that you're actually riding the float. And she was. I explained that to her, but um, yeah. It was, I, I needed like two more minutes probably. Um, but it did kind of get her thinking a little bit. I thought, well, if you could you pay your bill right now, you know, and you'd be okay, then you're not floating on credit cards. And it did give her pause. So a lot of times people think if they aren't carrying debt month to month, that they're doing okay. And you're not. What the best measure for are you doing okay, besides maybe emotionally when you're just being super honest with yourself, Besides that is looking toward the future and kind of saying, is my future self going to be okay with how I'm setting him or her up? And that's where it gets interesting. Future self, like three months down the road, six months down the road, do you have an emergency fund in place? Cool, right? Um, are you anticipating larger, less frequent expenses for your future self? Cool. And then looking to the future, like further down, are you anticipating, do you want, going back to those wants, right? Are you anticipating wanting to retire, you know, comfortably and be able to support yourself? I just heard a stat the other day. I was in this big meeting with this big economist. He said that 85%, I think it was 85% of your healthcare costs are consumed in the last two years of your life. And uh, yeah, think about that. Um, I don't know if it was for the world or if it was just for the US. It might just be for the US, probably. But you think about the future and one way to gauge like, am I good with money is not just I'm not living paycheck to paycheck or I don't carry any debt month to month. It's really how am I setting up my future self? How much do I want to create a, a safe future? And a lot of times when you start measuring that way, you start to see kind of cracks in the scaffolding of your financial house and you think, oh wait, I do need to do something there. If you want to provide, you know, all bills paid for your kids for college, it's iffy for me, then you start thinking future, right? If you want to retire on oceanfront property, then you think, okay, how do I set that up for the future? If you want to be able to handle the next time your tire blows out, Okay, how do I handle that for the future? If you want to be able to pay your next bill, um, how do I handle that in the future? To really be set up financially, it is about thinking ahead and looking toward the future. And how far ahead you think, uh, that's a good indicator of how, we'll call it safe, your finances really can be. So just something to think about. I want you to kind of take the lens of 
okay, what do I want things to look like? A month down the road, easy, right? A year down the road, pretty easy. Five years down the road, ooh, start thinking career, job, raise, uh, more schooling, who knows what, right? Five years. What do I want things to look like 10 years down the road, 20? Other stuff starts to pop up, like do you have a will? What about life insurance? They start to surface when you think future. Sorry for rambling on this one, because I said two minutes, and yeah, by my clock, that's two minutes. And uh, I just want you to look through a future lens and be able to see where you maybe aren't quite as, as set as you originally think. Don't stress about it. What do you want? And then uh, what do you want and how do you want your future to be? Kind of merge those two together and just start uh, building out a plan. Just take action. We will see you guys next week.